Hi everyone, I am doing a box opening from, uh, if I can get it in there, Ami Ami. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, this is my second order from them, but I haven't actually gotten my first order yet because it's a uh, Nendo that hasn't been released yet. Um, these are actually kind of a combination of my love of Nendroids and my love of ball jointed dolls. Um, this little doll right here is Anubis by Black Box. And Black Box teamed up with another company to make little figures, more uh, Egyptian gods, goddesses, I guess, um, that are not ball joint dolls. And they're not really Nendroids either, but I'm hoping they're about the same size as those two. They might be a little bit smaller. Um, but they're super adorable, and I saw in my Nendroid and Bodjoin Dog groups, both groups expressed interest in these figures. I don't know if anybody else pre-ordered them, um, but I jumped on them the moment I saw them because I really love Black Box, uh, their aesthetic, their style, and their whole just Egyptian stuff that they're going through right now. This They released a couple different versions of this doll. One was in black, one was in white, and they had some with full face-ups, like full, just Egyptian styling, and then blank, like the one that I got, um, which I got him later after he was released. Um, so I'm kind of like into this Egyptian stuff right now. And I just put this Nendroid here and my black box here because he kind of reminds me, he has an Egyptian theme too. This is Nendroid um, 1296 Rider. Uh, Ozzy Mandias. He's from Fate, Fate Grand Order, I believe, or one of the Fate series. I have no idea about anything to do with that series. I just like the looks of him because he's very Egyptian looking to me. And I think there's at least one other one that looks Egyptian to me. It's like a girl with kind of an Anub Anubis ears and like, um, like an Egyptian hat. I want to get her too. Um, so my only Egyptian interest, so I, it's gone beyond these little figures. I have this little um, charm bracelet that I've gotten a couple of Egyptian charms. Can't really see them because it's not focusing, but now I'm into Egyptian stuff. And without further ado, I'm going to open up this pre-order stuff from Ami Ami. They got them to me very quickly. Um, they let me know when they were being shipped. And they sent me some little postcards or like a little comic book thank you. Um, let's see what this stuff looks like because I'm pretty excited. I got two um boxes of it because i really hope i want to get like at least all the common ones and um maybe if i'm lucky i'll get some of the rare ones so thank you ami ami for getting these to me so quickly so this is called aru garden um again this was designed by black box who makes ball jointed dolls but apparently just recently i found out from one of my ball joint dog groups who um, is actually a dealer that works with them to sell their dolls, that their company struggled during the pandemic with some of their suppliers and that sort of thing. So they couldn't continue on making ball joint dolls. So they were able to work with a company to make these cute little figures. So I'm just gonna give you a quick view of the box. Hopefully it's not too reflective, but um, you can see it says Aru Garden up there and it has like all the little figures down along the bottom and then if you look it has like an opening right here it kind of looks like a treasure chest like an egyptian treasure chest there's kind of like an egyptian um skyline there with the uh oh my gosh what are they the pyramids <laughs> and it continues around the box the whole thing and then these are all the ones that you can get and i believe i don't know if it shows the rare ones but maybe those are them I remember reading um, in some article about it that uh, one of these, one of their rare ones, and I don't know if they only released like one or two, is actually like gold plated, like it has actual gold on it. So um, just giving it a little shake. Sounds a little loose in there, but I don't know how many comes in each box. I want to say like six, which there are five common ones. So again, I would just be satisfied if I got at least all the common ones. Um, and it looks like this would be like a pop-up box because you can kind of see how it would stand up if, you know, 
we were going to anime conventions and that sort of thing, doll conventions, whatever, here in the U.S. or really anywhere around the world, I'm sure retailers would be selling these things like hotcakes. I hate to admit it, but I, <laughs> I ordered two from Ami Ami, and then when my ball joined doll, uh, dealer that I go through, listed them up for a pre-sale, I ordered one or two more from them too, because I thought it was two different things, not two different, um, like releases from black box, but one of them said Aru garden. And then one of them said something like preschool or kindergarten or something like that. Maybe it was just a mistranslation, but I thought it was two different series. Anyway, without further ado, it's already going into five minutes. I'm just blathering on here. Let me open this up. Um, and see what's in here. Because I'm sure lots of people in both Nendroid groups and uh, really just figure groups in general. But anybody who likes Black Box or has followed and appreciated their um, style and aesthetic. I I was just so excited to see these and I highly recommend them. And I'm sure they're going to be great quality. Um, so let's see how we open this. So it is just kind of like a pull open lid it looks like probably there's um like so yeah it would be something like this where you would tuck it in and then that would be like the pop-up there to like show what's for sale and in each um box there is six which I don't know if anybody was curious about that I know in my uh I don't know if Ami Ami sold individuals or if they just sold a set um I think my uh, ball joint doll group that I'm in, which by the way, it's ball joint, it's BJ Divas. Um, they were selling them individually, I believe. So here's an individual box. So if you look at it size wise, it's pretty close to the doll and the Nendroid. Actually, this doll is just the slightest bit taller than the Nendroid. Um, Oh, it sounds like there's something loose in there. Maybe there's like a little card in there or something. So I see one, two, three, four, five common ones. Then one, two, three rare ones. And then like a, a super rare one or a mystery one. Um, so four altogether. Here's a close-up of that. I know it doesn't focus very well. Um, and it just says black box on the side. There's like a sticker there. Um... It says, brand black box, product name, Aru Kindergarten Fashion Toy Series. Materials, PVC, ABS. So, same as an Android. Um, there's a product model. Applicable age is over 15 years old. Uh, the dealer, Sue Zoo Toys Comic Technology. Out of somewhere. I don't know. Oh, origin, Kwangdong. Sorry, I just had to glance over. My dogs are outside. Um, so, here's the top which is Black Box's um, logo. You can see, I don't know if you can see that there. They match um, for their ball joint dolls. And, or at least for this release, it may not be the same on their other releases. They released other dolls that are not Egyptian at all. Um, how best to open this to preserve the box? Because yes, I'm a box saver. There is like a little pull tab along the bottom. I think I'm gonna try that and see how that goes. Oh yeah, it just it's already like perforated, so it just opened right up pretty easy. No like ripping the box or anything like that. But oh, there we go. It's still just a little flap that you open. Sorry, I'm trying to go through these quickly, and if I have to do 12 on this video, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, so inside there is like a foil wrapped figure. Oh, um, there's like a silica thing, probably to help keep the like sweating or uh, like the kind of film that gets, if you've ever handled a Nendroid that's been in a package for a long time, it's probably to help with that. And I've seen Nendroid, Nendros, I don't know if they commonly throw in the silica thing, but um, what else is in here? There is a nice card. And then, I don't know, I would guess that that's probably Chinese or Korean. I don't know. And then, oddly, a little kind of metal bar. 
Maybe it's to help. It's flexible, probably bendable. I don't know. Maybe it's to help keep the little figure upright. Um, so then the foil packet um, has like Egyptian hieroglyphics on it. Let me put this little gel piece and this little metal thing away. Maybe the card explains what the metal piece is for. I don't know. Um, gosh, just going through this. Does anybody else miss conventions as much as I do? My own local anime convention near to Chicago, Illinois, um, Anime Central, has been canceled for two years in a row. I was planning to go to it uh, last year. It got canceled, of course, due to COVID. Oh, there is a, like a rip, so I'm just going to rip it. Um, and then it got canceled again for this year. So um, two years in, in a row, haven't had a convention. Okay, so just look at this thing. It's very similar to their Nendroid here in style. Same hat design. Um, obviously, it's okay. It is a little smaller. But darn if he doesn't fit super well with an android. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay, so this is um, it's this common one. It's I, I don't know. It, it must be Anubis, right? Because it has those same ears. Let me just get a cup up close to that. That's really cute. So it's just plastic. I don't think there's any moving parts. Nope, not even his head. You can't turn anything. Tail doesn't move. Um, along the bottom, even the little to toes are point are painted gold, and it has the um, what does it say? Something. Za blade. I don't know. And then there's also a little QR code. A little tiny sticker on this rump. I guess you could do something with that. So, there you go. It's smaller than the Nendo, um, but it fits. It fits very nicely with their ball joint doll and Nendroid size. I'm getting them off camera there, but um, it's great. Highly recommended already, just from this one little one. He's so cute. Um, it's, it's really nicely painted. The gold is, is really pretty. Um, it's a beautiful design. If you're into Egyptian things at all, or if you just like black box and you love their designs, it's spot on with all the stuff that I've seen. So I'm going to kind of just pile them up in front of my little guys here. Hopefully I'll get different some different ones so we can see. And I'll try to go through this quickly here. Um... Going with the little tear. Yeah, I don't know what that metal little flexible bar would be for then. I don't know. But it is very easy to open. At least. That's really nice. It's really curious. And they all have, that's the same thing in here too. There's a little metal bar, the card, and the silica gel. And then the figure is in foil again. That's something you have to, I'd have to look up because I don't, I can't read the language that these things are written in so maybe it's something else to help with moisture in the packaging i don't know all right hey at least i didn't get a duplicate so far oh he's cool looking is he one of the rare ones let's see nope he's not he's one of the common ones but oh my gosh he's adorable too i don't know which one this one is it, it looks it looks like it has rabbit ears to me um, he has a little staff that's adorable, um, but his tail almost kind of looks like a, like a scorpion tail maybe. It's like pitched there. Oh, something just moved there. I felt like it. Oh, see how his head moves? You can turn his head. I didn't think I could do that with the other one. Can you move his ears? Anything else? No, just his head. So cute. Let me try this one again. Well, if you can move his head, this one's really tight. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because he's the dog, he's always aggressively looking forward. I don't know. So there you go. Two common ones so far. I'd be lucky, I guess, if I got any of the uncommon ones. Um, 
but I'm, I'm just happy to have these. I really love Black Box, and they actually just recently sent out um, their uh, recent Ball Joint Doll creation. It was actually a Chinese, I believe, um, dog, and you would recognize the design. Anybody would. Um, it's a very common type of, uh, like, I don't know if it's considered a god or it's like some type of creature, but their dolls are just adorable. And I really, I wish, that, I hope that they would come out with them again because I would buy them in a minute. Um, I really like black pockets. I can't go out on a good enough saying about them. All right, so here is the eagle. Um, these colors are just fantastic. Really bright, really Egyptian, blues, golds, reds, blacks. So there's another one. I'm just going to set them off to the side there. Um, so far, um, those are three commons, right? Again, I would, again, I am just saying I would be happy with, <laughs> um, one of each one of the commons. If I got a uncommon one, that would be totally cool. And if I get duplicates, I'll be selling them. So, or trading. I like trading. Um, all right, so this is duplicate, I think. Let me look just to make sure. Oh, maybe it's not. This is not a duplicate. I thought it was. So, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I didn't test the head of the little eagle. This one turns. This is a little cat. And she has a tiny little kitten in between her paws. Oh my God, look at that. It's so cute. Even her staff is like a little kitty staff. She's got big old pierced ears. She's got like a beetle scarab on her headdress there. And her little tail has a ring too. Um, my gosh, and her tail is like holding the staff. That's so cute. So, um, four commons, right? I'm just gonna kind of pile them up like I said. She is one of the common ones so far. So, if I'm lucky, maybe I'll get all five commons and a rare. That would be kind of cool. All right, let's continue on here. I have really been enjoying doing box openings and I hope that um, my unedited, very basic videos are entertaining for people. Um, turn, I don't ever ask for subscriptions or anything like that, but if you ever wanted to, feel free. I am happy to share my hobbies with others. So, okay. Um, all five comments. Here we go. I thought this was another duplicate, but it's, there's two, like, there's a dog and a cat and a bunny and then, like, two birds. So, here's the other um, fifth, like, the fifth common one. And her head turns too. So the only one that I couldn't really turn the head on was the first one, the Anubis one. So that's all five commons. So, presumably, the sixth one might be a rare one. Maybe. Or it's a duplicate. And if that's the case, I'm okay with that. If I really want to live dangerously, I could just resell all of the rest of it right now. But I can't because I love opening up toys. And plus, when I sell them, then, you know, the ones that I don't want then people know what they're getting. And they don't have to worry about getting duplicates either. So I just want to say again, all, all of these, um, all of these had that little metal stick and the card. You know what I'm beginning to think? Each card matched did they all have a different image on the card? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, the card is kind of like a collectible card along with the figure. So, the card already has an image of which one you're getting. So, <laughs> could have saved some time there. But, of course, we like to see these, right? So, this one is, I believe, an, uh, a rare one. Or an uncommon one, I should say. So, let's open it up. I'm just going to... Kind of wave it around back here so you guys can be excited with me too. Um, so there you go. Now I realize the card has the image of which one you're getting in the package. 
So you don't necessarily have to open up the package if you don't want to. So here is an uncommon one. The head turns. This is a um, like white version of Anubis. Kind of like this one, my my nun, uh, my doll, my Bajon doll. So here she is, or he, I don't know. I wonder why I couldn't turn the head of the first one. Maybe it was just on super tight. Um, but that's really all you can do with them is move their head. So there you go. Presumably in each box, you would get five commons and an uncommon or the rare one. So now I know with the other box, I can just glance at the um, card and I won't have to go and open those so that um, when I resell them or trade them, um, somebody else can have the fun of actually opening it. Still kind of a mystery as to what the little metal bars for. I don't know if, if anybody else um, has been watching these things or looking at them on pre-order. They had really like a little fabulous display set for them and I don't know that the display would be available um, to purchase but uh, ow. but um, maybe that the bars help to place them in a stand or something. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to be really fast about this, and I'm not going to uh, open each individual one unless the card indicates that it's, like, a rare one that I don't have. So I don't have to go through every uh, box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nine altogether if you include the five common and the three uncommon and then the rare one. And the rare one I was the one that I think was like the gold plated one or whatever. Um, but I don't remember what it looked like exactly. All right. So now I'm getting, I'm running out of room here. Hopefully that'll be off screen. Okay. Um, let me just go through this really quick and take a glance at the card. So then I know I won't have to. All right, so this is the Black Anubis, which is the one that I already had. I, I'm totally cool if I don't get anything else rare or special because these are just so adorable. I'm sure that somebody else out there is going to want these. Oops. Um... This is this little black rabbit one. And let's see. This is the white um, bird eagle. I'm sorry, I don't, even though I'm professing to start to get into Egyptian stuff. I have no idea what any of these um, um, gods characters are supposed to represent. I don't know their names. Um, this is the black cat. This one right here. Let's see what else we have. Was that the rare one, the black cat? I can't remember. No, that was one of the common ones. There should be a white kit. Um, this was the uncommon one that I got. So there's a white cat and then a red, one of the rabbits. Let's see. This is another one of the birds. Yeah, well, I guess they're both white. They're just different headdresses and stuff. All right, so just if you're curious, if you're going through and opening these, the back left corner is seems to be the rare one if this is a rare one um that's where my rare one was in the other box should i should just open this first let's see what we got here let's see if it's something different this is a this is not different i don't think i don't know it's hard to tell this is an, an anubis i think oh but he has a different like staff maybe let's see is that the rare one no maybe that's the 
That is the rare one, it looks like. It looks like it has a different staff. Let's open it up. And interestingly, this one didn't have a gel packet. Still has that little metal piece, but no gel packet. My husband just walked in doing a filming. So this is the card, and it, you can see the staff looks different than the other one. This one has like the little symbol, and that one has like some kind of staff or something in its paws. So let's take a look. Um, I'm excited. I can't find the opening. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, he's stunning. Wow, I'm so lucky. I feel lucky that I got two rare ones, which means, presumably, if I'm really lucky and I ordered other boxes, I might get all of them. He's awesome. Oh my gosh, he's like metal. Oh my god, and he has a little stone that's like sparkling. I am beyond thrilled. So it's the same. It looks like the same, like Anubis, I think. But the headdress is definitely like metal painted. And he has a different staff. So there's like scales instead of the symbol. Oh, and his tail tip is... Oh, no, they both had the gold, goldish tail tip. Okay, so let's compare. See the difference there? There's different, like, scales and a symbol. So this is the common. This is the rare, I guess. Oh, I'm so thrilled to have gotten this. See how it's so shiny? I read that this is supposed to be, like, actual gold. Like, not, like, maybe it's, like, flakes or something mixed in with paint. I don't know. But he is so shiny. And there's like definitely a little like sparkly gem there. You can't really see it because it's not focusing. But this little stone right here, it sparkles. Ooh, I love it. It's great. So I have all of them except for one uncommon, which would be a red version of the rabbit. Um... They're great. They're adorable. I hope you enjoyed watching this. It's coming up on half an hour. Um, I am going to share this to both my ball joint doll groups and my Nendroid groups because even though the, none of these are either one, they're like a blend of the two. So thanks for watching. Um, I pre-ordered these from Ami Ami. If you want, I think you might still be able to get in on the pre-order at bjdivas.com. It's like B like the letter boy or B for boy, J like John. And then divas.com. Just, I think I did a pre-order with them just as recently as like last week sometime. So good luck if you're into these. They're adorable. I highly recommend them. Thanks for watching. Bye.